So, now then, we shall take a look what is behind that hatch here. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This place is just getting creepier and creepy with every fucking second we are too long in there. Oh god. This bunker is so surreal. The door? This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Okay then, let's take a look. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Three... Three numbers? So we need... Three numbers. Where do we get numbers from here? Let's take a look. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Ah, okay then. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. That isn't what we need. Maybe here? I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. MLP. Okay, that doesn't bring us anything at all. Here's nothing either. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Okay then. I wonder where we can get that code from. That is a very good question right now. Now that's a serious door. Five, four, and two. Let's try. Oh, think, think. Five, four, two. Yes. yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Why is this place giving me... Now what the hell is this? Giving me so fucking many chills over my neck. More survivalist supplies. And water. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. But David wouldn't have the money for all that. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Probably. What's that here? Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, As Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son, as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I, do not, if I do not have your support, I cannot read Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from, real, from reality. Even if he act, acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife. So I have to assume you are no longer interested in my service. Regardless. I care about Nathan and I believe he needs... 
serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I'm always available. Best, Dr. Jacoby. Ah, uh, duct tape? Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. And a creepy one at that. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. I'm not sure this is Nathan's. It's that here. Oh, that son of a bitch. Howard Road Construction, Stormbreaker Bunker, Full Estimate. Holy shit. Talk about torture. That's got some creepy art. That is so... Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Dear Nathan, Principal Wells has informed me that you have been suspended due to some suspect Vortex Club activity on your part. Never mind that, I just want you to know what kind of shame you have once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you have ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among other things we shall not mention. But nothing is ever enough for you. You are still my son, and I want us to fulfill our destiny. That day is coming sooner than you think, so be prepared to step into that responsibility. This is my final warning. S. Prescott. Wow. Jesus, I already hate this place. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Whoa. Oh, this picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. That is so sick. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. What the fuck is this creepy shit here? Kate? Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. It's something at least. Let's use it. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. That is... Who is so sick? Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place. Which you have stupidly done before. I have set all this up and shared my, my vast wisdom. J just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together. 
but you have to let me guide you, or you're on your own. What the hell? Ah, oh, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. That is... These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Holy shit. Oh shit. That's Nathan's jacket. Has he been here recently? It seems like it. Well... Somebody likes their whiskey. A tripod? So who's using this fancy tripod? That is a very good question. And who put it up that sick room here? Needles. Gross. And... This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. I wonder if Frank knows what has happened. Okay, we to the junkyard. Oh, there's a poster. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. That place is in so many, I'm just on so many levels. Nope. It screams out to whoever runs that or owns it to slap them across until I don't know. The best, the best never stop.
I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Line. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> Next episode, that was too much. <laughs>